Welcome to our time together on the Parsha. This Shabbos we have the privilege of reading Parshas Korach. The rebellion of Korach, of course, ends in disaster for him, for his 250 followers, and in fact, later on, for over 14,700 of the Bnei Yisrael, almost five times more than the number of people who died by the golden calf. What is it that motivated all these people, Korach's followers, to bring incense, which they knew was forbidden, the 14,700 who rebelled against the word of Hashem and lost their lives because they also wanted to come close. And what is it that motivated that? Interestingly, right before Perik Yudches, the Bnei Yisrael come to Moshe and they say to him the following. They say, Hein govadnu, behold, we're expiring. Ovadnu, kulonu avadnu. We're all going to get lost. As Rashi explains, we're all going to die because kol hakorev hakorev, anyone who desires and has the inner desire to come close, el mishkan Hashem, to the dwelling place of Hashem, yomus is going to die. Ha'im tamnu ligvoa, are we ever going to stop dying? Meaning, because we have this inner desire to come close are we ever going to stop dying? And at that point, Hashem comes to Aaron and he tells Aaron and the whole tribe of Bnei Levi to assist him and all the other Kohanim in setting the boundaries so that everyone knows, even the Kohanim know, they also have boundaries. And in fact, the boundaries are in terms of the service of Hashem. We all have boundaries in terms of the service of Hashem. We all want to come close, but each and every one of us has to know that there's a need to maintain a balance between our desire to come close and being too far away. In fact, the Sifri in Chumash Devarim on Perik Lamed Gimel Pasuk Beis says, when it calls the Torah Eish Das, the Sifri says, the following, he says, Karov la Adam Nichve. If a person gets too close, he's going to get burned. Rachok, if he's far away, Sonen, he's going to freeze. The Jewish people need to know, and every human being needs to know. We can't get so close as to get burned, and yet we can't be so far away that we freeze. We need to maintain a balance recognizing the untouchableness of the Torah and we can't get close and play with it and do what we want, while at the same time we must be close enough to maintain the warmth that the Torah emanates. So, in fact, based on the writings of both Rav Shamshim of Erl Hirsch and the Nitziv, what we see is that every human being has an inner teshuka, an inner drawing desire to be close to the source of our lives, which is Hashem the Divine. We all have a desire to achieve much more than the bare physical necessities. You know, every animal, if you give every organism on earth its food and shelter, the animal is content. It needs no more. All it needs is to be provided with the bare necessities. Human beings are not like that. A human being, you can give him all the bare necessities. In fact, you can even give a human being every material value in the world. We're not satisfied just with material values. It may be good for a short period of time, but we are seekers. We always want more. What is it that we want? We want that closeness with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Therefore, Anything we do in life which enhances the closeness to God, when we're doing something, we can ask ourselves, is this going to help me achieve a closeness with Hashem? The work I'm doing, is it going to assist me in maintaining a good family life so that I can learn with my children, send them to yeshiva? that I can personally grow from it? Is this recreation that I'm doing going to bring me closer to Hashem? Is this coming to shul 
going to bring me closer to Hashem. Everything we do, this food that we're eating, is this going to help me enjoy life more so that I can come closer to Hashem? Every single thing we do, if it helps us achieve what we inner desire want, then we're going to be a sense of accomplishment and we will be satisfied. But if what we do cannot bring us closer to Hashem, we're going to keep seeking. And we want more and more and more. And Korach and all of his followers also wanted that, but crossed the line. And that's why Hashem tells our own and his children to help the Jewish people maintain that line. Today, of course, we have the Torah laws, we have the Shulchan Aruch, we have our sages who help instruct us as to what the line not to be crossed is. But we all desire to achieve that closeness. Our soul, our very being wants to achieve the closeness to Hashem. And as long as we recognize that and everything we do is measured by that paradigm, we're going to achieve a success and a modicum of happiness in life as we come closer to the source, which is what we really want. And the followers of B'nai Israel came to Moshe saying, we know that that's what we want. Please help us achieve the right balance. And the Torah gives us that correct balance. A great lesson on this Rosh Chodesh of Tamas, a great lesson as we approach the period of time in which we're going to be mourning over the loss of that Beis Amigdus that we so desire and wish to use as a way in which to come closer to Hashem. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a good Chodesh.